today we're looking at how being present on social media can reap dividends in terms of engagement. This is Love Hodson, quite the bed, and they um, took a photo of a local band playing at their event, Rock Around the Clock Tower, and posted it at the time of the actual event. So what does this do? It raises awareness to anyone who didn't know that the event was going on, and they suddenly go, oh, I hadn't realised that was on, I might knit down. So it actually drives physical football to people who weren't aware of it, which is brilliant. Um, and anyone who sees it later can perhaps look at the image and maybe spot themselves and much more likely to go in and tag themselves in it and um, looking like they're having a great time. Um, so it's great for sort of tagging content after and also during the event as well. And people love the band clearly um, looking at what everyone's saying about it. Absolutely brilliant. Awesome. Fantastic. So everyone's got really engaged with it and really enjoyed it, which is why they're bringing great comments. So it's a testament to me to posting at the time of an event and rather than just before and after. So. If you're holding an event, it's always important to be present, always important to take pictures and images at the time. And I would also have made sure that I um, I tagged in the area that I was in, made sure that I tagged in Hodson, made sure I tagged in any of the videos and even the band as well, just to, again, increase that reach. Now, if I was Love Hodson, as much as it's important to be present, I'm also aware that people are super busy and they need to schedule in their content. So one of the best ways of doing this is to go to um, the Maybe platform and go into content and go to content calendar. And in here, you've got all of your content here that you've already um, scheduled in or that's already, if you do it from a week before, you'll see all your content from the week. And then what you can also do is you can choose in to add a post. You click add a post and you can add one into, say, Facebook, Twitter or Instagram. You can schedule it in. You can schedule in the same post for each of them. And then, of course, what you can also do is you can choose to compare your calendar to any other bid, for example, or any other place. Um, you just add them in here, choose who you want to um, compare yourself to, and then all of their content will come up below. But it's just such a good way of a scheduling and content to make sure that it saves you a bit of time. B, being able to check out previous content, see what worked and what didn't, because you can view it and you can choose to duplicate it if it worked well. And C, you can also compare and contrast with other businesses as well. If you've got any questions whatsoever, click on the little blue button. We love to help.